One thing I totally forgot is we got to associate shoes with users because right now they're associated with the activity and you know obviously the activity is associated with the user but the problem we're going to have is there's going to be no way for, for a user to <laughs> select their shoe versus somebody else's shoe. So let's clear this out and run a new migration. So Rails generate migration add user to shoes and we'll do user references okay so we have this migration here um, we do want to enforce that, that a user is actually set on a shoe let's run this migration I know strong migrations is probably gonna get upset at us uh, but we'll take care of that in a second so we'll go ahead and paste this into our migration file and go ahead and copy this. Oh, and now when you want to just realize too, I forgot about this part, the foreign key and the separate migration. So let's go ahead and do this because this applies to what we did earlier with activities and shoes. Got a little ahead of myself there. So let's just do rails db migrate. Okay, and let's do Rails. Actually, let's, let's check that out first. So uh, that was shoes, right? So yep, user ID. And actually, I should have noticed that was a problem because earlier in the other video, I went down to this foreign key section and I noticed there wasn't anything for activities and shoes. That should have been a, a clear call out there. So we have to add a foreign key. Let's just quickly go into the guides. I kind of forget how to do this. Okay, so we have, this is the syntax here. So let's just do Rails generate migration, add foreign keys to shoes and activities. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. We have to actually add the stuff in here anyways, so. We have this, let's go ahead and do, let's do what we were supposed to do in the first one, which is we wanna add a foreign key on the, I think it's the activities table, and it should be for shoes. And then on the shoes table, we wanna do it for users because the activities table has a column for shoes and the shoes table has a column for users. Let's see what strong migration has to say about this. So Rails DB migrate. Okay, so we just need to do a couple here. So add for working activities. Let's just do validate false on both of these. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do validate. So I should actually just like copy this to my clipboard. So let's just do Rails DB migrate. Now that we have the validate false passed into this migration. And then let's just go up a few keystrokes and we'll do, let's just do validate foreign keys. We'll just change this from two to on. Okay, and then luckily this is still here. So I can just do validate, I can just copy that line. Uh, let's go into here. I'll actually go in and just copy this to make sure I have everything right. But we'll change add foreign key to validate foreign key and then get rid of this line here and run rails db migrate. Okay, that's good. Let's just check out the schema file. Make sure everything's cool. So we have these new foreign keys here. And I don't think it does, it, does it affect? I always forget if it affects the table. That might, that's from before. Um, let's just run the test suite to make sure this is all cool. I know we haven't added tests yet, but this might catch anything. Getting some problems here. Let's see what this is yelling at us about. Okay, so let's see. Might have to do with our fixtures. 
I'm hoping that's what it is. So let's just go into test fixtures. So we have shoes. I'm guessing it's because the shoe doesn't have a user. So let's go in here. Let's just do users. I'll probably just copy this guy and do confirmed user with shoes. Confirmed user with shoes. And then what we can do in here is go into shoes and then just do Let's do a loop here. So one up to two do close this out. And then we can just do confirmed user with shoes uh, shoe underscore we can just pass we can interpolate over the I Get rid of this. Um, so let's just do like shoe one distance in miles. Let's just do like random between zero and let's just do like five hundred. Retired, false, allowed distance in miles. Let's just do this number here. Um, clear this out. Let's run this again. Oh, wait, we didn't even fix the problem, which was <laughs> we gotta add the user. So, and then user, confirmed user with shoes. That's their name, right? Confirmed user with shoes. Didn't seem to fix it. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Oh, this is just a syntax issue. The problem here is it wants it to be. I'm actually kind of blanking on if I can do how, how I pass a block with up to. So I'm just going to do two times and then just because I in this case will start at zero. So I just want to fix that so it's it'll be one and not zero huh this is still still busted I'm kind of oh, okay so what am I doing here you guys can probably see it but I can't oh 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 you know what it is I can back out of this it's because I haven't return I'm, I'm like evaluating this but not or I shouldn't say I'm I'm trying to like print that out. Let's just go back to what we had before, which is one up to two. Clear that out, run Rails test. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. I have to go into my model and I have to say belongs to user. And I have to go into my user and say has many shoes and I'll keep dependent destroy because when a user gets deleted, their shoes should get deleted. I'm hoping this is what fixes it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, sorry about that. It's probably kind of painful to watch, but that kind of stuff happens, so let's just let's just commit all this. And we'll just say uh, associate shoes table with users table and add foreign keys. And we'll push that up and let's leave off on, on this one because that got a little long and we kind of get a little sidetracked.